Well, hello everybody, Dr. Perlmutter here. You know, we spend a lot of time uh, on our website and certainly in the video blogs and the written blogs that we produce talking about how our lifestyle choices and environmental issues play uh, in terms of determining our brain's destiny, our cognitive function today, what our cognitive function is going to be like down the road. Very interesting article appeared this week in the PNAS Journal entitled The Impact of Exposure to Air Pollution on Cognitive Performance. And this is a study uh, that looked at the effects of air uh, pollution in terms of uh, measurements of both um, math scores and verbal tests over many years looking at more than 25,000 people living in 162 uh, counties uh, in China. And what they found was they, they found this very strong uh, correlation between exposure to uh, air pollution and cognitive uh, issues. The published uh, study, uh, again in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Scientists, um, just came out this week. And they found that there was this, in fact, very strong correlation. They looked at uh, individuals between the years uh, 2010 and 2014, and they measured both math and verbal skills. They found, uh, to quote the author, different dimensions representative of the functioning of the brain, uh, the types of things that they looked at in terms of the math and the verbal scores. And what they determined, again, to quote the one of the authors, we can say that the bigger impact is toward the older adult. Uh, he uh, indicated that exposure to pollution could make elderly people less effective uh, in making various uh, financial and medical decisions. So the researchers found both short-term as well as cumulative effects uh, of air pollution in terms of affecting how the brain works. They interestingly found that, as mentioned, uh, older adults were more affected, and also the fact that individuals with lower educational levels were uh, found to experience a higher degree of cognitive decline. So, interesting uh, to note that not only the foods we eat, the exercise we get or don't get, the quality of our sleep, uh, whether we take nutritional supplements or not, uh, all affect uh, the destiny of the brain, and now we know the very air that we breathe uh, is playing a role in determining the fate of our brain, uh, at least as this study would demonstrate in terms of its uh, cognitive abilities. So there's a big call here then for uh, li uh, living in a place that has less air pollution. Uh, I previously talked about a study demonstrating higher risk of dementia and those individuals living closer to a major highway. We know that particulate matter found in air pollution ultimately uh, does induce the production of chemicals that mediate inflammation, chemicals that we call cytokines. Uh, these uh, particles can uh, make their way directly to areas that affect the brain and indirectly uh, affecting the brain by increasing the production of these inflammatory chemicals in places like the nose and the lungs. So clean air, uh, very important for the functioning of your brain. Thanks for listening. More soon. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.